Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. We got a little uh, trust issue here and a little problem because if you were right here, then uh, how could you be right here in the same time? And I will explain. But first, I have, an, um, I have one piece of news and I will use three articles because I want to uh, build trust. And uh, I'm not gonna use only the Russians, I'm gonna use the, uh, also the Americans, and I'm gonna use, I guess, the uh, British, something like this. But they say the same thing, but you know, sometimes you have to uh, uh, pretend you are uh, you know, using everybody's uh, opinion, but it's the same thing everywhere. So this is Sputnik, White House, US shot down on identified high altitude object over Alaska, another balloon, mind you. Now, this is from Independent, Independent. the same thing, not a BMW, but I think these guys want something else. No, US shuts down high altitude object of unknown origin over Alaska. Okay, and I'm gonna use, Papa was a rolling stone right here. This is again from February 10th, high altitude object shut down over Alaska. White House says, the object posed a reasonable threat, I'm quoting, to the safety of civilian flight. John Kirby of the National Security Council said, pa, 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 pa. all right, so I'm gonna pick, uh, uh, let's see which one is gonna let me do it. Is there a video? Yeah, let's see. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. All right, well, whenever this is, uh, oh, let's see. come today wow yeah man holy oh. oh my god look at that yeah man purple house purple house purple heart for you there you have it <laughs> we're tough okay we got the BS out of the way let's move here all right so what do we have here we have America's Sputniks brings you all the latest breaking stories. Okay. The US has allegedly shot down a second high altitude balloon over northern Alaska. The White House said on Friday a balloon downed last weekend after transi transi transiting North America was Chinese owned, but the Pentagon has not yet made any claims about the origin of this balloon. <laughs> it was a birthday balloon. <laughs> A poor child's uh, birthday balloon. U.S. President Joe Biden ordered Air Force to shoot down a high-altitude object over Alaska on Friday, saying it was a danger to other aircraft. What about the other one? Why wasn't the other one a danger for airplanes, for other aircraft? The object. <laughs> this is my question. If you were right to hit this one, how come you left the other one? do the whole, uh, I don't know, mission, complete the whole mission. Go from one side of United States to the other one. Or you dropped the ball on the other one and you show that you are tough now. And remember, they dropped the ball according to the news that I got. They dropped the ball because some people saw it. Who was that? What's that? It's a UFO? And I think the public announced uh, the authorities, the authorities, the traffic, I think it was Montana or something. I think it was Montana. They stopped the air traffic and they announced those guys and the other guys like, yeah. I think that's how it was. We gotta shoot it down, oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, Chinese friends, sorry. We have to uh, shoot it down because these weasels got it. So now they're all like, is it coming? Another one, another one. Jesus, we woke up the weasels. Now, you remember when you see those um, uh, movies, the um, horror movies with the zombies that are, you know, asleep or something, and you're like, and then, click. Huh? what the, who the, <laughs> remember that? I think it was, uh, what, what was the, Will Smith, that movie, it was a nice movie, I can't remember the name uh, uh, of the movie. Anyway, then he's alone in New York with his dog, German Shepherd. <laughs> These guys are idiots, man. But anyway, 
Uh, remember that one? I can remember that one. I, no, not I robot, something. I can, and not, it's a nice movie. Good, I like the same. They were like sleeping over there, and when he's going to make noise, everybody's, where are you? So same here. We are the zombies, and they are like, ah, come on, pass, go, 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 and we're like, huh? say what? What's that? Huh? Who that? Huh? Ah, let's go, man. It's like that's the way I see these things, man. It's unbelievable. Oh, and I'm quoting: the object was flying at an altitude of forty thousand feet, and posed a reasonable threat to the safety of civilian flight. White House National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby Weasel told reporters on Friday, and I'm quoting: out of an abundance of caution, ooh, thank you. You think about our safety all of a sudden. And at the recommendation of the Pentagon, President Biden ordered the military to down the object, and they did within the last hour. Great, great purple heart for the uh, pilot. Good. And Biden and whomever. Kirby as well. I, I would like to nominate uh, Kirby for the purple hearts. I want him to get like 10 of them so he can sell them anyway or pass him over. I'm quoting, we were able to get some fighter aircraft up and around it before the, or before the order to shoot it down and the pilot assessment was that it was not manned, Kirby added. He noted that the balloon has passed over, the remain, over what remain U.S. territorial waters even though those waters are currently frozen. The alleged balloon was spotted near Prudhoe Bay, a small town on Alaska north coast facing the North Pole that is also home to a large oil field. Well, I said the same thing should have happened with the other one if they'd really decide to start doing this. Don't wait until it uh, completes its mission, crosses the United States, takes everything, whatever it takes, tr communicates it to whomever, transmits it, and then you shoot it after it uh, exits in South Carolina in the territorial waters. Great. Yeah. Kirby did not state any theories about the national oil ownership or origins of the balloon downed on Friday. They know. I mean, they knew the other one when it got up and when it, uh, uh, when it got up, where it got up, uh, the trajectory and everything. But anyway, Pentagon spokes spokesman Brigadier General Pat Ryder detailed in the follow-up briefing that the unmanned object was shot down with an AIM-9X missile fired by an F-22 fighter from Alaska's Elmendorf Elmendorf Air Force Base. An F-22 was also used to intercept the balloon last weekend. Good man, good, good. Washington was uh, has signaled it is considering retaliation for the balloon overflight, including sanctioning the balloon's China manufacturer. However, several major Chinese balloon makers have issued statements explaining how the balloon could not have been made by them. So that's one thing. And remember, um, uh, I may not remember, but I read some articles stating that the first balloon that was shot, shot uh, on the coast of South Carolina had some uh, Western components in it. So what are you going to do with those ones? But if those are Rayaton or let's say uh, Lockheed Martin uh, components, are you going to sanction them? <laughs> no money for you then, General Brigadier. Uh, rider on the storm on the storm anyway here it is uh they are shooting balloons down and purple hearts are going to start uh, being forged go for you go for you i think that uh if they consider that to be a threat oh, by all means uh, whomever uh, sent it but i don't know when the other countries will start doing with uh maybe U.S.'s balloons, or if not balloons, manned aircraft that are going uh, spying and going uh, high altitude. What are they going to say then? We'll see. And if this was another Chinese balloon, the Chinese or anyway, they did not answer um, the weasel, what's his name, Austin Powell, <laughs> Lloyd, Lloyd Austin, the um, defense minister who used to be sitting on the Rayaton or Rayaton, Rayton uh, board. Do you know what it is? So he, this general, that now is a defense minister of the United States of America, before he's got this job, right, he was appointed there, uh, 
he uh, sat on the private board of directors in the board of a weapons contractor manufacturing for the Pentagon. So that's okay. When I came in this country, I don't think there's anything illegal over there. But wouldn't that make you feel like maybe, uh, if you know what I mean? When I came in this country, I came from a very corrupt country and I said, I'm going to go to America, man. Because we were told over there is democracy and it's like rule of law and everything is perfect. When I came here and little by little, in about six months, and after reading Howard Zinn's uh, People's History of the United States of America, which I understand at that time, I was like, uh, and after I, I read Arthur uh, Schlesinger's uh, dated US, uh, I still have it over there somewhere, uh, not somewhere, right there next to one another. Uh, and when I, I read the first Schlesinger's, which is the uh, AOK, the governor's, government's uh, approved historian, and I was like, Papa, I, I read it in about, I don't know, one night. I started at 10, I read it until morning. It's all dated. I like it like that. When it's dates, pa, 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 pa. I don't know how many pages, whatever. And then I got the, from a friend of mine, said, well, why don't you read uh, Howard Zinn so you have a different opinion? Oh, yeah, you mean, thank you very much. And he, uh, he landed me his book and I read it. I bought it the next day after I read it the same one night. Boom. And I, uh, at that time, I didn't know who Howard Zinn was, but it, you know, it opened two sides of the coin. I know it's more than two sides in this case, but it helped me. So then I say, oh, wait a second, what's going on here? And living in this country more, longer, longer, I found out that, uh, I don't know, you have uh, Bush and then you have the other Bush and then they tried to get the other Bush. What's going on here? Is this uh, like a, uh, a monarchy or something? Or, and then I, they wanted Clinton and then they wanted Clinton and now they're going to probably want the other Clinton. Hey, what's going on? Hey, take it easy. So yeah, and then I read about uh, JFK and I read about how JFK, uh, Kennedy family got its money from, I thought, oh really, like that with Canada, bringing uh, <coughs> over the board, over the border, oh, okay, thank you very much. All kind of things you find out and you say, Jesus Christ, but at least uh, <laughs> uh, there's still a, a lot of uh, great things in the constitution that uh, unfortunately these guys are, <coughs> yep, and still I think uh, this is, wherever I lived, or whatever I read about other countries, and I lived in many countries, and I've been, I visited. Visited is not like living, I understand that one. I still think that this is, uh, or at least has the idea of being the greatest country so far. But hey, it's going very fast that way, and I don't like that, and I don't want that to go that way. That's why, that's one of the reasons why I'm here right now. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.